Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Welcome to another edition of Mean Streets. Chris Meany here with you at Chris Meany. Eric Young is traveling, so unfortunately, we're able to hook up this morning for Dangle Bad Selly, but we'll return next week and we'll see what does happen with his Maple Leafs, his game seven scheduled tomorrow. By the way, William Nylander, three and a half shots. Let's hammer that one right now. Even if Austin Matthews comes back, we'll be all over that William Nylander shot prop for tomorrow, three and a half. Uh, let's uh, discuss tonight, though. There's two games on the ice, two teams looking to force a, a seventh game in the series. And I have some props here that I wanted to share with you guys, but I do believe Vegas will beat Dallas and force a seventh game. And I also think the Nashville Predators will win at home and force a seventh game with the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, Vegas is minus 105 at FanDuel on the money line and Nashville is minus 125 at M, uh, BetMGM on the money line. But I got a couple props here for you. Some of these may be uh, a little obvious, the usual suspects, but uh, that's okay. We're trying to find some value here. A lot of shot props are juiced, and there's been a lot of line movement uh, since we put these bets in over at ftmfantasy.com. Jack Eichel here at minus 122. Uh, best book I'm seeing and best price I'm seeing is at Bet Rivers at the moment. Uh, he does lead Vegas with 38 shot attempts and 18 shots at all strengths. He's 111 minutes of ice time at all strengths as well. 17 more minutes than the next closest forward. So Bruce Cassidy is leaning on Eichel to play in all situations, double shifting him and in a must win elimination game at home. I got to imagine that he's going to get a lot of ice time as well. He leads the Golden Knights with 25 shot attempts at five and five. Jonathan Marcheseau is just behind him in terms of ice time, shot attempts and shots. Marcheseau leads the Golden Knights actually at five and five in terms of shots with 15. Uh, he is minus 155 now at BetMGM. He was minus 150 this morning at DraftKings, and he moved to minus 175. Now the best price I'm seeing is minus 155. It's getting a little steep here, but I still would take him as a single, basically just from you know what I said. He's behind Eichel, you know, 17 minutes in terms of total ice time at the forward position among the Golden Knights, but he is second. He plays with Eichel. These guys will get leaned on here tonight. Three shots. Little juice, minus 155. But I like the point as well at minus 130 over at DraftKings. So just behind him, as I mentioned, in terms of attempts and shots. Uh, sticking with Vegas before we move over to the uh, Dallas side. Noah Hannafin over one and a half blocks at minus 155. Again, this has moved considerably as well. My apologies. I tried to get this video out a little bit earlier this morning. But if you are subbed with us, you you know you get the best number right away when we post it over at ftmfantasy.com and in our Discord channel. Uh, Hannafin leads uh, the Golden Knights in ice time in this series. 122 minutes, right? What a big pickup for the Golden Knights at the trade deadline. There's a lot of good defensemen on this Golden Knights squad. Guys that have won multiple Stanley Cups. And Alec Petrangelo, Alec Martinez, Jay Theodore has a cup. Uh, but it is this Hannafin who leads the team in ice time. 122 minutes. He has 26 shot attempts towards the goal. Only seven on net. He has a goal and four points in the series. But I'm taking a look at his block number here. Over one and a half blocks. Minus 155 at BetMGM. Uh, he's got two blocks, at least two blocks in four of the five games. Back-to-back -back games, three blocks. Uh, and two blocks is minus 155. I saw Caesars minus 143, but that has moved close to minus 160. So the best price I'm seeing here at the moment is minus 155. Not leaving the ice, right? Which is uh, a, a big reason we're going to jump on him. Well, of course, going to go to our guy, Y Johnson. We probably should have led with this. You knew Y Johnson was coming here on the show. He's moved to three and a half shots over the past couple of games, plus 104 over at BetMGM for him to have four shots and minus 140 for him to have a point. Uh, of course, he leads the series in points at six. Uh, Wyatt Johnson's got 39 shot attempts and 18 shots, uh, which does lead Dallas. That is at just five and five. Uh, the next closest player at five and five on Dallas is is Jason Robertson, who has 11 shots at five and five. Wyatt Johnson, 18 of them. And at all strengths, he has 48 shot attempts and 21 shots. We just talked about Eichel having 38 shot attempts and 18 shots at all strengths. But it's Wyatt Johnson, who has 48 attempts and the 21 shots at all strengths. Uh, so we're taking him. No ladders. I, I think we'll see a big push from Vegas tonight. I think if you wanted to ladder anybody in this game, I would look at the Golden Knights. I'd look at Jack Eichel. I'd look at Jonathan Marsh. So those would be the two guys that I would consider laddering tonight. Uh, Dallas has been the better team at five and five. Both teams don't really take any penalties. They're they're among the the cleanest hockey teams in the NHL. No penalties. And uh, you know, I'm not killing a lot of penalties. And just across the board, I'm seeing a lot of you know shop blocks. <laughs> um, 
We have a parlay. I didn't have this one as a banner to show you guys. We do have a, a same game parlay over at Bet365. It's Tanev, Hannafin, Harley, Lindell, and McNabb. All of them for two blocks. That plays uh, four to one. Hannafin's been blocking, as we just talked about. Harley and Lindell have been blocking. There's one game with eight blocks from Braid McNabb as well. Another game, I think, with four or five. So uh, a little bit of a sprinkle on the <laughs> five leg two plus block shot parlay which is something i never thought i would come in here with but uh tis the season for block shots especially in that series uh i do think as i said uh vegas will win the game and even things up but we hope that dallas does close things out tonight over in the other game there's really not a lot to to talk about right it's been a, a low scoring series there haven't been a lot of shot volume a lot of uh shot attempts really Again, I like Nashville. I lean to the under five and a half at minus 115. But take a look at JT Miller here. Miller's got three plus shots in three of his past four games. He had a game in Nashville. It was game three where he had six shots on goal. He's got 21 attempts at five and five, which leads the series. Again, 21 attempts. We just talked about March or so. We just talked about Eichel is like 40 and why Johnson was like 50. Uh, but here we are, Miller, 21 attempts, 5-5, five and five, 35 at all strengths, uh, which does lead Vancouver as well. The 13 shots uh, is tied with Brock Besser. 105 minutes in the series is just behind Quinn Hughes' second. So we're taking JT Miller for three shots at minus 122. The attempts, the ice time, it's all there. Kill some penalties on the power play there for you. And then Jason Zucker of the Nashville Predators, minus 150 over at DraftKings. Again, these shot props are juiced. I wouldn't get too cute in putting everybody into a parlay. You can tease some guys down to two if you wanted to like Miller to Zucker to and then get involved with some of the guys that I just talked about you know in the Vegas and, and Dallas game but as for Jason Zucker I mean this guy stands out he's got two plus shots in four of his uh, five games in the series nine in his last three uh, he cleared in both home games the third on Nashville in shot attempts and his 13 shots are one behind Forsberg for the team lead if you can believe it team high 11 shots at five and five Jason Zucker he leads the Nashville Predators in five and five shots, but he only has 11 through five games. But we're only asking for two here. And as I said, uh, nine in his last three, cleared in both home games. And uh, he is third in shot attempts uh, on the Nashville Predators and his 13 shots at all strengths because he doesn't get the same time of ice time, same type of ice time as Forsberg, especially on the power play and whatnot. Uh, just one behind him for the team lead, but leading the squad five and five shot attempts. Uh, if you're looking for any like same game parlay stuff, uh, you know, Eichel Marcheseau so points plus 125. I, I will shout out uh, Thomas Hurdle, who's playing on that line. We'll see if Bruce Cassidy makes any adjustments, but uh, he did put uh, Tom, uh, Thomas Hurdle on this top line in game five. Uh, they played uh, 13 minutes together at five and five, which was by far the most of any other line that played in that game at five and five. And the line led with 16 attempts, eight shots, six scoring chances. They had two high danger chances and they had seven offensive zone face-offs, which I think was very key as well. And like a tight checking series where we could just see a couple of goals tonight. Uh, it's very key to be targeting some guys that the coaching staff will lean on for offensive zone face off. So nobody else had more than two offensive zone face offs. So anytime there was a face off in Dallas's end, Bruce Cassidy was sending this line on the ice in particular, Jack Eichel. So 13 minutes at five and five hurdle is plus one Oh five for a point. If you included hurdle with Eichel and Marcia, so it's plus two forty five, I believe for all three of those guys, but I'm just going to include Eichel and Marcia. So here for plus one twenty five. You could just take Hurdle as a single play at plus 105 uh, for a point. In the other game, Miller and Brock Besser, plus 115 for a point. These guys have, have been really good in the series for the Vancouver Canucks, leading the Canucks forwards in shot attempts and ice time in shots at 5-5 five and five in all strengths. And then Forsberg and Yossi, plus 100. Uh, for a point uh, in the uh, Nashville game there as well. And then this is what I'm talking about for some same game parlays. Like you can get cute with threes and fours and hope that you get a double overtime and you hit something like that. We talked about it on Dangle Bet Selly and away you go, but it, it really hasn't worked out. I mean, it could work out. This could be a game where we see two or three overtimes. You can do some small sprinkles like that, uh, kind of treat them as ladders. You know, you I, I, this one here, I think, is pretty conservative. You got Eichel two shots, Johnson two shots, Robertson, Marcheseau, Duchesne, Theodore, and Sagan two shots. So all of those guys, yeah, it's asking for a lot. There's seven players here. Eichel, Johnston, Robertson, Marcheseau, Duchesne, Theodore, and Sagan. All two shots plus 475. That's from Bet365. 
Uh, over at FanDuel, you could have a similar ticket. I don't think Theodore is available for two plus shots, but you can swap him out for uh, Hurdle, two plus shots, and that would pay six to one. But keep in mind, it's in 60, uh, same game parlay. These are the guys tonight that I think will get to three shots Eichel, three, Johnson, three, Marcia, so three, Robertson, three. Uh, Marcia, so is uh juice as we talked about jason robertson actually is minus 143 i meant to include this jason robertson minus 143 at bet rivers i would take that one as a single three plus shots in, in every game but one he's got 11 shots over his last three and three plus in three straight games uh but you know eichel and and johnson are three and a half but if we tease them down to three we tease marcia so or we have marcia and robertson at three so those four shooters those are the shooters in this game Theodore and Heiskanen deserve shout outs because those guys are playing a ton and there's a lot of shot attempts with those guys as well. But these four forwards are getting a majority of the attempts for their respective squads. Uh, and those guys are plus 375 for three shots over at uh, Bet365. Then you, you know, you can go to this one a little bit larger. If there's anyone that you want to consider for four, it's the two guys that we talked about, Eichel and, and um, Johnson, as we're taking them as singles. So uh, on the way out here, we'll just kind of recap. Uh, we got Eichel for four shots here tonight. We got Jonathan March, or we got uh, Wyatt Johnson for four shots and to pick up a point. We got Jonathan March so for three shots and to pick up a point. Noah Hannafin for two blocks. Uh, shout out Thomas Hurdle for a point at plus money. And Jason Robertson. Actually, Jason Robertson, uh, I like quite a bit. Uh, I like Jason Robertson over two and a half shots at minus 143 more than I like Wyatt Johnson for four at plus 104. Just asking for the three compared to the four. Uh, I don't mind paying a little bit of juice there, but, but we're still going to ride with our kid, Wyatt Johnson. Uh, JT Miller there for three shots at minus 122 at Bat Rivers. And then Jason Zucker for two shots at um, uh, minus 150 at DraftKings. We got the same game parlay for Eichel and Marsh. So to hit the score sheet at plus 125, we got Miller and Brock Besser at plus 115 and Forsberg and Yossi at plus 100. And then the same game parlay for Eichel, Johnson, Robertson, Marsh, so Duchesne, Theodore, and Sagan at two plus shots at plus 475 at 365. Then Eichel, Johnson, Marsh, so, and Robertson. I think that. Vegas wins the game. I think Nashville wins the game, and I like the under, and we'll jump on Willie Nylander tomorrow for over three and a half shots. And uh, I do – I'm going to like Pasternak too, but I'm already seeing him like roughly minus 166. So uh, maybe you could do a same game parlay with those two guys. Just put them in for three shots. You should be able to get plus money uh, for those guys as well. Uh, good luck on the ice. Enjoy the pucks on Friday, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers.